Hello guys, my name is Drakesy and I am back on this channel. I have been away for a while. If you are a fan, I am sure you are aware. But please, please, please know that I will be trying my best to come back, keep consistent with the uploads, and there'll be a bit of different content coming up on the channel. So if you're not already subbed, get subbed, get enjoying, and we'll get ahead with the content. But today's video is gonna be one of my most popular series on my channel. That is the best possible squad builders on FIFA. Today's is the most popular squad always that I do. The fans are fantastic. It's the best possible Greece squad builder. So if you are from Greece, Get support in this video, it's a fantastic team and I would like to use it in FIFA to give it a bit of a try, but today I will only be building the squad, so let's get straight into the squad build. So the first player into this squad is going to be the goalkeeper and as we can see it is Kernaziz or Karnaziz, I'm not too sure on the pronunciation, but he has got a fantastic looking card this year. It is in fact the Champions League upgrade card, like upgrading one area that everybody got who's in the Champions League. Uh, and as we can see, I think this is a new card to FIFA this year. I can't remember it from previous years. He's got an overall rating of 80, meaning that he is a solid goalkeeper. Some fantastic stats on his card, but the thing that pulls me in is the overall look and colours that draw me in. He's got the combo of the flag, he's got the combo of the club badge, he's got the combo of the card colours. All that blue and white make it look like a fantastic card to have in the squad just for that reason, let alone that he looks like a good goalkeeper this year as well. Next into the squad is Papadopoulos, the weakest of the three centre-backs that we have in this squad. If you're not aware, and this is the first time that you've ever seen a best possible Greece squad builder, Greece has a very, very, very solid defence, some fantastic defensive players. Sometimes the attacking players aren't as strong, all they need is one good, strong, solid attacking player in real life, and this team would be absolutely amazing. But still, with the upgrades this year, they've got a pretty decent team. But first of all, we're looking at Papadopoulos. His pace leaves something to be desired. 59, oh, it's not the best, it's not the best. But he's got some solid defensive stats at um, 77. Decent for a normal rare gold card sitting at 78. And then that physical of 83, meaning that if anybody's coming at him, Papadopoulos is going to Papadopoulos him away. But yeah, solid player in the squad at the first centre-back position. And as we were speaking about strong centre-backs, we bring in Socrates of Arsenal. I'm pretty sure you guys will know him. He's a very, very well-known centre-back and he's fantastic in the game by the looks of things. This is his team of the group stage Europa League card I just look at it sitting at 86 he does have another card at 86 but this is the cheaper alternative so if you guys are looking to build this I've built this in the best possible way cheapest way for you guys to build but as we can see 73 pace on a center 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 back very very tasty indeed and he's got some solid defensive stats at 86 and then 84 physical another boost we now move along to the final centre-back. This centre-back is the holy grail of centre-backs in this team. It is in fact Manolas. I'm pretty sure you guys know him already. Fantastic in real life. I'm surprised he's not moved to one of the top, top teams in Europe. You know, I think Roma are a fantastic team, uh, but are they that top echelon? Are they that top, top team? to be debated, but we're gonna see his card in FIFA. Looking at it, it's 88 rated. I believe this is for an SBC reward that you can get him, but looking at that card, it looks absolutely amazing. 86 pace on a centre back. What, what? Then we move along to the 89 for defending, and then 86 for physical. This card, it's unreal, it's unreal. You know it's even more mental when he has 67 for dribbling. This guy's a centre back, centre back with 67. What? Moving up the pitch, we come to the left mid. And as we can see, it is Christus. I do joke, of course, I think the way to pronounce his name is Christopadopoulos. Mm, maybe wrong, let me know, I'm probably wrong. But as we can see, he is a base gold card, not a rare, sitting at a 76, 
decent cards on his card to be fair. I mean, he's probably usable in game. He's got solid 70s, 76 pace, meaning that you probably can use him down the wing. Pace hasn't been that important, I think, this FIFA. Um, so yeah, probably use him if you did want to build this team. 78 for dribbling, which is a key, key stat. And even 74 for shooting means that he's probably solid cutting in and getting a shot or two in from the left wing, left mid position. Moving inward on the pitch, we come to the first centre mid in this team, and it's in fact actually a centre attacking mid, so if you were to build this team, you can either sit him in as a centre attacking mid, but you can also convert him back to a centre mid. I tried building this team as best as I could, but to get the best possible overall rating, we had to put this centre attacking mid in at centre mid. So it's not the best, but, you know, he's not got the best defending stats is what I mean, but you could still use him in the position as his stats are pretty solid. Looking at his card, he is a 77 rated. It's yet another upgrade for the Champions League uh, group group cards, if that's the name of them, I'm not too sure. But looking at the stats in detail, he's got 74 for pace. So he's, he's pretty fast, he's pretty decent for a centre mid. But the main stats that we're looking at on this card are the 76 for passing and the 79 for dribbling. He can go straight through that pitch, wibble wobbling all the way past players in front of him. A very good player, but not somebody that you would expect in the centre mid position. Moving along now, we come to another position change player that you will need to get if you build this team. That player is in fact Samaris, but it's on the other end of the pitch. This guy is a centre defensive mid that you would have to convert up to a centre mid if you wanted better chemistry in this team. But Samaris is a very, very good centre defensive player if you want him in the team to kind of balance out against Mantelos. Yet another Champions League group card if that's the thing the upgrade overall one upgrade he's 77 rated he's playing for Benfica his pace is not the best at 59 but if he's sitting back it's not going to be that much of a problem I believe his work rates do sit him back a little bit more than the average player but he's got some decent dribbling to be honest for a defensive player at 71 but the defensive stats are the things that we're looking at 77 for defending and an 80 for physical yet another brutish player to get into this team. Scooting over now to the midfield wrap up kind of. Uh, we do have a centre attacking mid but this is kind of like they're, they're more attacking players I would say but the right mid is the final player and that is Fatsidis I think is how you would say his name. He's 76 rated, he's a non-rare gold yet again but he's a decent card to get into the team. 83 pace on him so he's a very very quick player. A player that some people when you're playing up against them online might underrate I might not expect him to be as quick as he is. So yeah, could be kind of an underrated beast. I've not really used him that much this year. But he's got a very, very nice 80 dribbling as well to go alongside that pace. And as we can see, 73 for passing as well, meaning that he can probably cross a decent ball or two into the box. And we have just the player in the box to be getting his head onto them. But we'll get to that in a bit. Moving up now to a player that is always one of my favourites when building a best possible green team and that is in fact Fortunis. As we can see Fortunis is an upgrade card. He is in fact an in form this year at an 81 rating overall. At the centre attacking mid position he will do wonders. As we can see he's got that 80 pace, that 80 shooting, that 81 passing and then that 80 for dribbling as well. He's physically 71 as well meaning for an attacking player he's pretty brutish as well. Centre attacking mid he's kind of similar to Rooney. Um, pretty Previous years and stuff, not this year obviously, he's not like good Rooney, I would say his card's kind of, ooh. But as we can see, Fortunis has got a very, very solid card. As I mentioned a few years back, Rooney, he's got decent pace, decent strength, and the shooting on him could be something, once again, people don't expect when you're playing with him. Moving up now to the penultimate player in the team, and that is going to be Matroglu. As we can see, he's only got a base card this year. It's a base gold at 78 rated. It's a shame that he's not got an upgrade, but he did in fact get a transfer. He was at Marseille in France, and he's now transferred, I believe, over with this card to Galatasaray. Once again, the Marseille card does, I believe, cost around about 2,500 to buy. So this one being the cheaper alternative is the one that I've used in this team. But looking at Matroglu's stats, we all know at this point he's not the fastest player, but if you're using Matroglu, 
you're probably not using him for his pace. But the thing that we're going to be looking at with Metroglu is that 78 physical, meaning that he's an absolute brute in the box. If we can get him in the box, get in his head on things, this is probably this guy's specialty. On top of that, he does have 77 shooting, so whether the ball comes across and down to his feet, you know he can rocket one in if he's in the box. Fox in the box, Metroglu, fantastic player in real life, and probably, once again, kind of underrated in FIFA. Now, to wrap up this best possible Greece team we do in fact have another position change I'm sorry I'm very very sorry but it's a fantastic player and we needed to get him into the squad this is in fact the center attacking mid card for Pelkas and as we can see he has a wonderful wonderful card to be a striker this year for the Greece team like I said in real life hopefully this guy gets a few more games under his belt potentially transfers to a bigger team and becomes a solid striker because I believe that's all Greece need to become once again a solid team that not that long ago 2004 I think it was won the Euros so you know they do have a solid history of playing defensive but having that breakaway counter-attack and as we know it's worked for Leicester in recent years but looking back at Pelkas's card he has 85 pace that is what we've needed up front in this team 83 dribbling fantastic as well 75 for shooting which is even better for a card that quick to have decent shooting as well and then on top of that 81 for passing it's perfect. It, it might work wonders with Metroglou being able to hold up the ball, make the quick dashes through, and then still thread a very, very nice ball through to Metroglou if he doesn't have the chance to finish it. The only issue I really have with his card is that 54 physical. It's a shame that's not higher, but I'm still sure that he would be a very decent card to use in game. So that is the best possible Greece team in FIFA 19 so far. As we can see, all the position changes have been applied to the players. I hope if you guys are looking to build this squad, you have a good run with it and let me know how it gets on. Maybe you're just building it for the fun of it and you're not really looking to play with it. But to my knowledge, this is the best possible Greece team off the ratings in FIFA. There might be a few players that you wanted to see in this, but literally this is just going off FIFA's ratings. So if there are any players that you wanted to see, get them down in the comment section below and maybe in future iterations of this team we might see those players appear into this team so thank you very much for watching guys i have been drake t i hope you guys have enjoyed watching and if you have be sure to support the channel and give it a like and a subscribe and i shall see you in the next video thank you very much for watching guys i'll see you in a bit